Welcome back. Weaning of vasopressor part one. Usually this is something the nurses will do once you tell them the target. And as we said, usually the target is to keep MAP equal or above 65. So the nurses usually will start coming down on vasopressor to keep this target and slowly wean off all these vasopressors. One thing I want you to know that this MAP is, as you know, equivalent to two-third of diastolic blood pressure plus one-third of systolic blood pressure and we'll come to that maybe in part two why I'm putting this now. The question now the nurses sometimes need to know which vasopressor they need to win first. Let's say somebody is on nor epi having a septic shock vasopressin and epinephrine so which one they should win first usually the last that you add is the first you start coming down and shut it off completely and then you come to this and then you come to this but remember norepi and vasopressin are a special case remember we add vasopressin to decrease requirement of levofed right and to augment the action of levofed. When you come, let's say you got rid of epinephrine and now we have vasopressin and levofed, come down, decrease levofed, which is norepinephrine dose, leave vasopressin, don't touch it at fixed dose, right? Until this levofed or norepinephrine is less or sorry um, than 5 mcg per minute once you reach this then you can shut off the vasopressin don't titrate vasopressin slowly down just shut it off and then wean off levofed that's the special case here but otherwise let's say there's dopamine here for example or neosinephrine then you get rid of this then you get rid of this and then the vasopressin and norepi we just talked about also pay attention that sometimes the when you shut off uh, vasopressor the patient blood pressure drop and most most of the time these patients are should they should have arterial line see blood pressure drop so some nurses they go and put back on vasopressors so two things here my advice to you is wait give it 15 to 30 minutes before restarting vasopressor unless the blood pressure drop really low and then you will see the blood pressure is coming up on its own right so that's important don't rush to restart a vasopressor and when you decide to restart the nurses should know again the order that they should start vasopressor again take the one you added last first and then just by order except the norepi and vasopressin case we talked about and when you shut off vasopressor blood pressure may temporarily drop so you need to wait if it doesn't drop significantly if it's just the map is hovering 55 60 and everything looking good the patient's not sinus tacky and clinically you can get, you need you, can, you should wait for 15 30 minutes and most of the time blood pressure will improve there are some other things we'll talk about it in part two stay tuned thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board